Hey everybody, uh, a few of you asked to get some clay and I put together a few little sample packs, but what I did not include was slip. So this little video right here is gonna show you one way to make some slip at home and you're gonna need a little bit of material. Uh, you're gonna need a container with a lid and I'm gonna show you today how to kind of improvise with a cup, uh, a sandwich bag and a rubber band. Um, in the studio at school, I use these Talenti containers because they have a really nice sealable lid and they're really flexible plastic. So that's what I usually use. And we're also gonna need some dried out clay. Um, now I have assembled some dried out clay and I'll put this on the board so you can see it a little bit better. And I also have some wet clay. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to talk about clay and specifically why it needs to be dried out before we can make slip. So I could go ahead and just make some coils and let this coil dry out with that nice soft clay that you have. Um, and we're making slip. I should go back a little bit. Slip is ceramic glue. We're gonna use this whenever we join two pieces together. So, uh, but today this little video is only gonna talk about how to make slip. I'll make just another small little video that talks about slipping and scoring and why it's so important. So, these you can see the color, it's pretty intense. Now, if I dump out some of these pieces, these are actually scraps that I have from my house, I can see that this one's a little less in color and this is even a little bit less and we have some pieces that are really kind of, they almost look gray. Now, from here, this has a lot of moisture, has a little less moisture, but it's still really dry. We call that uh, bone dry and this is really dry. So there are two ways for us to make slip. And they are right here. The fast way is we're gonna crush out our dried clay, we're gonna add some water, we're gonna mix that up. It is fast, but it does require us to do a little bit more work. The slow way is to slake it down. Uh, basically what we do is we would go ahead and fill up a water cup full of some water, and then we would add the clay, and slowly over time, the clay will break down in the water, making slip. And then we can add water, uh, or take off a little bit of water if we don't have quite that yogurt consistency that we're looking for. Take some of those scraps and I'm just gonna crush them up. Clay will absorb water much better when it's really dry. If you have something to help you with this, if you wanna cover uh, like a mallet that's used in the kitchen or you have a rolling pin, I've got this block of wood here and I can just put that on top and I can crush this up. And the more I crush this, the faster it will absorb the water. Now I have a little water in my bucket right here and I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. And as you can see, this will start to bubble. And what the bubbling means is the clay is starting to absorb the water. If we were to let this sit and slake down, this process would be very slow. But if I choose to go the other way and I, I don't have dry scraps like you do, um, I can make this coil, but I could also just pinch really flat little thin pieces, uh, put them out in the sun, let them completely dry out and put them in a cup. And like I said, I wanna make sure that this stays sealed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my plastic bag and I'm gonna cover this. Then I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm just gonna put it over the top. This is gonna keep this nice and wet. I want that at a nice yogurt consistency um, so that I can use that a little bit later. That pretty much wraps up our slip, and let me just review again. Um, the materials that we need, we need a container with a lid. You go ahead and choose what you want. Uh, the fast way is we can crush it up, the dried clay, and add some water, and I have to mix that up. The slow way, the slaking it down, that's probably gonna take, you know, maybe a couple hours. Um, 
maybe, maybe even less if the clay is really dry, but the drier the clay can be, the faster it will go. So um, you're going to need a little bit of slip, and I will talk about the slipping and scoring in the next video. Thank you.